Hello everybody. How are you doing tonight? This is Darlene Shelton and I'm coming to you tonight, which is Wednesday. This is May the 2nd. And it was a hot day today out there. And um, I felt every bit of it, so I know what our summer is going to be like. We're going to get up there in them indexes, so I know that. Um, so we're reading from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. And it says, Trust in me is the alternative to falling into despair or escaping into unreality. When you're in the midst of adversity, it can be hard to think clearly. Yet this is when it's vitally important to make wise decisions. Sometimes it is if choices are swirling around you, waiting for you to grab until the right one. However, there is one choice that is always appropriate and always effective. The decision to trust me with all your heart and mind. If you're on the verge of sliding into depths of despair, stop and declare your trust in me. Whisper it. Speak it. Shout it. Spend some time thinking about all the reasons you have been being for being confident in me. Remember and rejoice in my endless, unfailing love for you. If you've been numbing your pain through denial of reality, expressing your trust can bring you into contact with ultimate reality, me. Confide in me, beloved, for I am infinitely knowing. I understand everything about your circumstances, and I will help you. Scriptures for tonight. Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind. And do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. But I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. Psalms chapter 52 verse 8. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13. So, trust in the Lord. We trust in God and He will help us. We are acknowledging Him when we trust in Him and through anything that we're going through, even when we're not going through anything. And I think I've said that many times. Um, so, and remember to rejoice in him because he's unfailing love. He's unconditional love. He's endless love. He's a limitless God, limitless God. So when you decide to trust in him and let him take over your life, let him be the one to help you and guide you and lead you, things will turn around. Because then you are confiding in Him. You're believing in Him that He's going to do those things. He's there. He's reaching out for you. And He wants you. So just keep trusting and believing that God is there for you. So that is our devotion for tonight. So remember, for those who are in the Lord, continue to stay faithful. Helping others to get to know the Lord. And for those who have fallen away, come back and repent. And so that you can be back to the body of Christ. For those who don't know the Lord, the plan of salvation. You must hear the word first. Mark chapter 12 verse 29. You must believe the word. Hebrews eleven six. You must repent. That's Luke chapter 3 verse 3. Confess. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Be baptized, that's Acts 2.38. And you're saved, and you live a faithful life until death, until judgment day comes, which is Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. So, get with someone, invite someone to have a Bible study with you, and study and read. Everybody have their Bible. Just be careful of different translations. So, everyone, remember, 
God loves you, and I love you, and you have a good night. Until next time, bye.